All right, so I've been asked by Solium to do a review on their new solar-powered outdoor camera. It's called the S70. Um, this is something I think is going to be very useful here around my property, and also I think it'll be useful for you guys out there. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick review on it. Uh, I don't do reviews that much anymore, but if it's something useful, I will definitely do it. Uh, so let me do a quick unboxing. Let me show you what it comes with. Um, how to set it up and we'll mount it outside and uh, we'll see how it works. All right, so this is the camera here with the uh, solar panels mounted. Um, the one that they sent me is obviously camouflaged. Um, they have other choices out there. Some are white, uh, some are like a beige color. I think there was one that was camouflage and black body on it. Um, but anyways, I'll put a link in the description to some other choices also. And um, anyway, so let me show you some of the features here. On the front here, well, to, first of all, let's take this plastic off. Okay. We have here, there's a, this is a PIR, a passive infrared here, uh, motion detection. Um, this is, uh, there's two lights here and underneath this there are there are some uh, infrared lights I think um, for night vision that is and your camera lens of course also uh, and there's a little hole here for a microphone all right so this is some of the features the camera comes with it's 100% wireless solar powered it records in 1080p live monitoring uh, it's got night vision uh, two-way audio, uh, motion detection, and it's fully wa weatherproof. All right, so in the box, you're gonna get, of course, your camera. Um, you're gonna get your mounting bracket here. And this, this is like a cast aluminum, this is nice. Uh, then this swivels, of course, you lock it down and angle the camera how you want it. This, of course, screws to the bottom of the camera. You're gonna have your instruction manual, okay, that tells you how to work everything. You get a small screwdriver. Now, this small screwdriver, what this is for, there's a little screw here and here. Um, you'll take those off and this wing here, solar panels, slides right off. And you could use this indoors um, obviously without the solar panels. Uh, you would have to put on the bottom here, plug in a USB uh, plug there uh, to keep it powered on. Uh, also you get your USB cable. Now you have to charge this thing up uh, at least six to eight hours before you go mounting it to keep the, get the battery fully charged. And then you're gonna get an envelope here. You're gonna get your stickers here. It says 24 hour surveillance. And uh, also here, you're gonna get this little a reset pin right here. Okay, and what that does, a little pin on the bottom of the camera here, you're gonna have uh, a little hole here. It says reset, you can put it in there and uh, there's a little button that'll reset the, the camera back to its uh, defaults. Um, right here you have a USB plug. That's where you plug in your USB cable. Here, there is a uh, SD card, a micro SD card here. Now, you can put anywhere from eight gigabytes to 64 gigabyte SD card. I got a 32 in here that I had laying around. It does not come with one. Um, and then this cover back goes back on like that. Um, and this here is a button to uh, turn the camera on. And it does also come with mounting hardware and screws. Um, and it also comes with very, very small little screws and it looks like it's the replacements for these little screws here uh, to, to remove these uh, solar panel wings. So let me, uh, let me go through the setup and how to set this camera up. This, will be, this camera will link up to your phone. Uh, there's an application, there's a Solium application. You can go and get it at the uh, ISO store or the uh, uh, Android Play store. Download it on your phone, and um, we're gonna get that going right now. Okay guys, the first thing you need to do is go into your uh, Wi-Fi settings and make sure your phone is hooked up to your Wi-Fi, of course. 
uh, in your house, but it can only hook up to the 2.4 gigahertz, not the 5 gigahertz um, Wi-Fi. So mine is hooked up to the, oh, I just switched back. There we go. Let me do that. Make sure it's hooked up to the 2.4 and not the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi. All right, because this will only work with 2.4 gigahertz. All right guys, so on the bottom of the camera here, what we need to do is push this button and turn the camera on. Okay, and it should say the camera. Yeah, the camera is now ready to begin pairing. Okay, so on your phone, that's what the app is gonna look like and we're gonna open that up right now. And you're gonna, it's gonna tell you um, for permissions, just put allow, allow, and allow. Please, uh, please allow notification permissions for someone to push notifications, okay? And we wanna click add device. Now we can scan QR code or hit setup. Let's try setup. And it says, do you hear the prompting uh, and the blue light is on? And the blue light is on and it does say it's in the it's now ready to be comparing. So yes. Due to system limitation, you need to turn on the phone location feature to ensure that the app can uh, okay. So we're gonna hit okay. I just turned the location service on. So now it wants to know my Wi-Fi name, and I'm gonna put that in there right now. Okay, I just put in uh, the Wi-Fi name and I put in my password for my Wi-Fi and click next. You can hear a high-pitched sound. Okay, now it wants me to confirm the password, so I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, for this device. So, what it's asking me here is I gotta create a password for, for this device here, uh, for the camera. And after you put in your password and confirmed it, also it wants to know uh, what area you're, you are in, so non-Chinese main, mainland for me. Um, and finish. Okay, so let's uh, try it out. Yep, there it is. Let me put a camera, or let me put this in front of the camera. Very cool. It's working good. All right, so now that we got this thing all set up and uh, it's, rec it's on the phone here, we're gonna set this up outside. Now here we have the option to record, if you wanna record. If I hit this one here, it's to speak, for two-way speaking, uh, talking outside, if there's anybody outside, you can speak with them outside and you can hear them talk back. And this here is to take a, a snapshot or a picture of whatever you see outside. So it's very cool. Here you have uh, album, cloud storage, uh, cruise, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you can mute it, it says voice here. Uh, and then your settings over here. Um, so this is very cool. Let's see what, um, okay, see how that works. Okay, yeah, it works pretty good. Getting some feedback. So, so, okay, the, the camera and the phone are too close to each other, so I'm getting a lot of feedback. So you get the gist of it. Um, that's how it works. You can uh, speak with somebody outside. Unfortunately, the cameras are too close together to the phone and I'm getting feedback. Turn that back off. Um, that's for cloud storage. An album is, if there's anything recorded, I can go to it and it'll show me where the uh, recordings are. Okay, so whenever there is, ah, that's when I was picking it up. When I was picking the camera up, it was recording. That's what that orange is right here. So 
So I can go back to live and it should show me the live feed right here. Okay. Very cool. All right, so anyways, let's get this set up outside and um, see how it works. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna install this right here. This is my firewood shed rack. Um, and it's gonna be pointing in this direction and my driveway comes up from this direction. So I'll be able to see anybody coming up from my driveway. I'll be able to see my solar panels here and see what's going on in my yard. So this is a good spot here and we're gonna get good sunshine here for most of the day up until early afternoon. So I'm gonna put this right about here and we should be good to go. It just let me know in a notification that there was some some movement or something going on because I probably went over the uh, lens here. But it just notified me that there was some motion going on. And uh, that's very cool. Alrighty, let's see how it works. So here I am talking to my neighbor. He decided to come out and visit me and to see what I was up to. And as you can see, the video quality is pretty darn good at 1080p. Uh, it's ha it has the wide angle lens and it covers a lot of area. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. So here I am pulling up my driveway just to see what a vehicle looks like pulling up. And uh, yeah, you can make out vehicles really good with this video quality. And you can even see my dog coming up here to greet me. <laughs> All right, here it is at nighttime. Now there is an area light just above me uh, off to my right shoulder. Um, but I was also testing to see if it would record uh, if I speak into it as if I was speaking to somebody um, through the camera. And it doesn't record. So I decided to set my camera or my uh, phone down away from me and talk into the camera to see if um, it would record. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Testing one. And two, it three. does, uh, but it's Testing. not that clear. But it it does. Uh, it does work. Okay, here I am outside, and I turn the area light off, and, and unfortunately, the video quality is very very grainy. Um, I almost look transparent or invisible, <laughs> but um, I was about fifteen feet away too. All right, here I am indoors, and I was playing with the app trying to figure stuff out. And uh, the video quality is pretty good on the uh, indoor, that is. Um, so it all depends on the lighting and stuff and how far away you are from the camera. But indoor, it's, it's not that bad at all. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you're interested in getting this camera, I have a link in the description where you can get it on Amazon. And um, I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.